it is an open secret now that i really like small models the smaller the model the more i am excited about it that is why when i saw this light mistral just with 150 million parameters released yesterday or few hours ago i guess i was very excited and i couldn't wait to review it after installing it locally to see how it works in this video we will be installing this light mistral 150 million instruct model and then we will test it out on various benchmarks but i want to set the expectations right remember this is just a 150 million parameter model and normally when we install it locally either we install it in quantized way or even we when we install it in full i normally used lm studio which also adds a bit of layers so don't expect all of these smaller models with so little parameters to perform like 70 billion or even 7 billion parameter models give them some room the purpose of these models is primarily to enable you to run these models on any devices like your phone your smartwatches or any tiny teeny devices that is the whole purpose these are for general purpose little bit tasks you can fine tune them on your own custom data set and then you can ask them targeted questions so that is the whole purpose of these smaller models and that is what we are going to check it out before i show you the installation and we go through it let me give a huge shout out to mass compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video description and i am also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount coming back to this model this model is quite interesting because it is a light series model based on the mistral architecture we normally see a lot of um, fine tunes of jama models llama models but there are not that many mistral fine tunes there are but not that many so that is why it is more exciting that is based on mistral architecture and it is in it comprises of around 157 million parameters and the primary goal of this model is to develop a compact and efficient model capable of operating on a wide range of devices while maintaining a reasonable level of functionality and coherence for its small size. A smaller model scale may lead to challenges in preserving context over multi-turn conversation. Also, there is a risk of inconsistent or inaccurate responses because of the size of the model as I mentioned just earlier. This model was trained on 8 billion tokens. Also, there are few interesting bits and pieces around its training. The base model was trained using FineWeb and FineWeb Edu dataset with 40-60 split. So 40% FineWeb and 60% FineWeb Edu. Also, this was trained on a single A100 GPU card with larger batch sizes. And then when the person did the instruction tuning, he switched to 4090, which was then trained on various instruct and chat data sets. So also around 8 billion tokens were used to train this model. Okay, so enough theory. Let me launch my tool LM Studio, which we will be using in order to get this thing installed. Let me make it a bit bigger. So if you don't know what LM Studio is, please search the channel. I have done heaps of videos on LM Studio. So launch LM Studio and then go to home page, select light mistral 150 million. And then I have just gone with Barto Whiskey and this out AI is the original creator by them with a huge shout out to them. And I will also drop the link to their model card in beauty description. So um, the reason why I have gone with Barto Whiskey is that uh, he has given the full 40, uh, floating point 32 model, the which is just 62682. If you don't want it, you can even go with the smaller quantized version, which even the original creator has given, but I didn't find the full uh, floating point 32 model there. And look at this interesting thing. The Q2 quantized version is just 68 MB. Can you believe that? Okay, anyway, so even the full model can fit on a small USB. So i already have loaded it and i have offloaded all the layers to gpu i have selected mistral instruct here and then now let's play around with it one more thing you need to be aware of while working with this smallish model is to make sure that 
you try to make your prompt as targeted as possible plus try to use the template of prompt given by the model so go to their model card and try to use that that will increase your chances of getting the correct answer okay so the first thing which i am asking it and i have just uh, got it from their or this template from their uh, model card so i'm asking it who wrote the play romeo and juliet and then there is a system prompt which is for the model and then user and then let's see what model does here so you see now we have got the correct answer and interestingly enough when i try uh, i was trying it out earlier it was not giving me correct answer it was just saying some random dude so with these smaller models you have to be a bit patient so you see not only it has given us the correct uh, author here but also it is telling about what romeo and juliet is it is a tragedy and then it is the greatest tragedies of all time and many famous plays have been adapted or reimagined for their time so it looks really good okay let's try to ask few more questions so in this next question i am asking it what is the deepest part of the ocean now let me ask the model and let's see what model says and you can also take your guess if you like okay so it says hang on it says it is called depth so you see it is going the gulf stream which i don't think so is correct let me uh, ask it again that is wrong can you try again nope's no it's wrong mariana French is the deepest part let's see let's see let's see no it is still so it means model doesn't know about it so it might not be part of its training data set and interestingly enough maria trench is the deepest part in the ocean i think it is near uh, png which is papua new guinea near australia and then the mariana trench is between guam and png or papua new guinea and it is 11000 meter deep just to give you a perspective the tallest highest peak uh, mountain is mount everest which is around 8000 meters whereas this mariana trench is 11000 meter deep anyway i digress okay let's try to ask another question so in this one i'm asking it who painted the famous artwork mona lisa let's see what do you think mona lisa was vincent van gogh so i don't think so i think that was leonardo da vinci so i will say wasn't Mona Lisa created by Da Vinci. Yeah, see, model is not budging. Model thinks it's Van Gogh. Anyway, let's try out another one. So in this one, I'm asking it, what is the smallest country in the world? Let's see. It's near Italy, by the way, if you want a hint. There you go. So you see, totally hallucinating. It so it says smallest country in the world is china it has a population over 10 million people so that is totally crazy so now what happens if i ask it without any um, template in the world europe okay let's try to delete the whole context let's reload the model and then i'll just ask it again united so you see so the thing where it's not part of its training data or it doesn't know about it instead of saying that doesn't know it just hallucinate and that is where you need to make sure that especially for the smallish models you have to put the guardrails in to make sure that you don't blindly trust these models for whatever they are saying okay let's see um you can how to be happy you see this is better let's see if it can do coding what is 23 multiplied by 6 or 24 multiplied by 6 you see totally wrong let's see a coding one write me a python program to reverse a list nope so coding no maths no only english and then you have to be very targeted there 
so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it and you saw all the good and bad about the model and you know where to use it when to use it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your networks as it helps a lot thanks for watching